Hi everyone, we're back. My name's Cody. I'm Erin. And we're here with a little bit of a conversation we want to have about... About how Bushy Road is screwing over OTT every single chance it gets. Yep. Like, like I can't help but think that they're trying to deliberately ruin the clan. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so, um, background information. I, the only reason I got into Cardfight Vanguard was because of Sugiyomi. She was my first deck. She was my only deck for, like, a good, I think, like... While. Yeah, it was, like, at least six months. Yeah. Yeah. Where she was my only deck, and I got to be really good at her. And then they slowly ruined her. Because, like, when I first got the deck, she was a considerable investment, considering the fact that, you know... The grade two was, you know, expensive. (laughs) $50, and Silent Tom was still decently expensive. He was, like, 20 when I first started. I think I got him for, like, 15. Um... But there was, like, it was a really good, expensive deck. And then, like, three months after I got her, they just... (sighs) They stopped giving OTT support, which was the main issue, but then it wasn't until later that they really started screwing her over. Because set 5 released. Yep. And this was my... That was my first set where I was playing with set 5. And I was over the moon because they had two cards for Tsukiyomi, and that was, um... Virtuoso housekeeper and trueness concierge. Yeah, and one gave an extra two k, um, grade two, eleven k attacker. If you had Tsukiyomi, the other one was uh, counterblast one when placed on rearguard, check top five for Tsukiyomi, which was great because it made the deck more consistent and added some power. Made it faster too. Yeah, and it was yeah. I, instead of hitting my stack at like the second third stride, it was usually it was the first stride I would hit my stack, which was great. Um, So that actually helped. And then everybody else got better, and we just didn't get anything. Yeah. OTT hasn't really gotten support since then, and isn't going to get support again until March. Yeah, there are people that they were theorizing that it would get support in set 10, but then obviously now we know it's not getting support in set 10. Um, So part of the problem is that the biggest muscle that OTT has is Silent Tom, and Silent Tom is still an 8k that can't do anything. So, like, first of all, the big issue, specifically Tsukiyomi, there's issues all across the board, but specifically with Tsukiyomi, when um, Virtuoso Housekeeper came out, I had to take out my 8k backer in order to, um, have room. yeah, have room for her, basically, in the grade one slot, which meant that Silent Tom was only a 15k attack if you didn't get any triggers which is a very easy guard, even with his guard restriction. And then they released G-Guardians, and... G-Guardians was just a deliberate screw you to Silent Tom in a very literal way, considering the fact that the... the introduced G-Guardians... By against Silent Tom. <laughs> showing it against Silent Tom. Yeah. And immediately stopped Silent Tom. Yeah, and I guess... And, and the anime... Is, in my opinion, has been OTT's biggest problem since the very beginning. Since, since the very beginning of the anime, um, when somebody had to lose, it was OTT. Like, For the most part, yeah. You had to have the dramatic sh- showdown, Aichi showdown, so you had to, somebody had to lose, and it would, uh, couldn't be Kai, because Kai can't lose, ever. <laughs> so it had to be OTT. Um, and then, ever since then, any time anybody needs to lose, it's been Misaki. And then, this specifically, when they introduced the G-Gardens, they went, alright, let's use this again. And have OTT lose. And it's been, like, the biggest problem, where every time they, like, won't give OTT support. But then they released the G-Guardians and basically effectively neutered the deck. Like, there's nothing you can do in it, because you can easily guard it. Even if you add, put triggers on a Silent Tom and push them over that 15k, 16k, um, column... Oh, you need a G-Guardian. Because there's no restrictions for that. And so basically, OTT's biggest thing was having a lot of cards, which everybody can do now. Everybody draws a crap ton of cards. Yeah, most clans have um, that now. 12 crit, and Silent Tom. And Silent Tom has been effectively silenced by G-Guardians. And um, 12 crit, I think they forgot that OTT was supposed to be 12 crit because they released this the, the stand trigger. I don't remember what it's called. Do you remember what it's called? I have no idea what it's called. It's an Oracle stand trigger. It's on, so right there, that makes it bad. So it's coming out in the new set for character, Trinity Dragon where OTT is finally getting support again, which I don't think we're getting until latest end of March, early April. 
What's the second one? It's the second character booster. Okay. Um, remember what it's called, but basically, if you're at Oracle, so if you have five cards in your hand, you pick one of your rear guards, and it gets Silent Tom's ability of being able to not be guarded by grade zeros. Which is okay <laughs> in the barest sense of the word, except when you consider the fact that G Guardians are still a thing, and it's a stand trigger. Which yeah, nobody's going to run it because you don't run stand triggers in Oracle Think Tank. Like, I don't... All right. <sighs> My chest. Is that... Uh, that's right there. Yeah, that's her. So, it's the Handbell Purification Maiden. That's an interesting... Handbell Purification Maiden. Yep, that's it. Yeah, she's GB1 Oracle, too. So, um, if you have a Vanguard with the Oracle ability, she'd want to be, which, oh, which Sukiyomi does ability. not. Okay, yeah, yeah, so she's, she's useless for that's basically any clan that's not Susano works, anyway. That's only the new Susano. It yeah. doesn't work with the old Susano. Yeah, so basically it's, it's 100% the new stuff, which I'm not planning on running in any of my decks because I run pure, I have pure witches and Sukiyomi, and I don't run Su Susano and Sukiyomi, even though he maintains that I should, out of principle. So, uh, yeah, so it's GB1 Oracle. And it's just, you can't call it Great Zeros to guard. To guard and that unit, basic. yeah. And it's a fucking stand trigger, which makes it literally... You should have to retire that stand trigger, too. I don't think it goes back into your deck. Yep, retire this unit. It's also choose one of them. Yeah, so, no, you so choose one. All. No, you choose one rear guard. That unit can't be guarded with... Yeah, and then, and then you retire the stand trigger. And then you retire the stand trigger, so it doesn't even go back into your deck or anything. So nope. it's... I, and the thing is... Okay... If they were, we were talking about, like, Gear Chronicle or Angel Feather or something that's so ridiculously overpowered that it can stand, you know, get a crappy card every now and then, which it could, we'd be fine. But OTT is Can. the worst clan in the entire game. Like, we have no competitive ability whatsoever. Like, Sukiyomi's still a little scary because you don't know what's coming and we do. Yeah. But, like, the deck itself... Better than that, Nats. It, you can't do anything. Like, all you have to do is PG or you have, you're safe. Yeah, as long as you have a PG and a G Guardian, doesn't matter. So you always still stop. <laughs> it's just, it's... So, the new support, basically... <sighs> Let's begin the new support. We want to talk about <laughs> your fancy GR that you're getting. That was supposed to really be a big Wait, help. he's a GR, too? Yep, Are he's the GR for that set. Are you kidding me? On what level? Like, uh, like he's not even a G... Okay. <sighs> Alright, so first I'm going to talk about Gear Chronicle because Gear Chronicle is pissing me off on like eight different levels because it they did. seem to be just stealing everybody else's mechanics. Like... Mostly <laughs> Mostly mine. I'm sorry. Um, his name is Demigog, right? Is it, which one's? Demiurg. Demiurg? Demiurg. Okay, Demiurg, yeah. Yep. The guy that says put... Your bind zone or your drop zone. Was it bind zone or drop zone? You take 12 different cards out of Sorry, your Sorry, I don't play Gear Chronicle. I just remember Put them into your seven. drop zone and then take 12 cards from your drop zone, put them on top of your deck in any order. Okay, yeah. So. Which absolutely should have been an OTT skill. Yeah, so <laughs> I found out about the skill from the watching the anime. I think I literally like blacked out for a second from pure rage because it absolutely should have been OTT skill. And the thing is, is that OTT is so bad right now. It doesn't just need like an okay. Stride doesn't need like a, you know a good stride. It needs like a I'm going to kill you stride because it's gone so far down the ladder that nothing else but that can bring it back right now. And so when I'm watching this, I'm like, you gave it to Gear Chronicle, like Gear the Chronicle clan. Doesn't even use it. <laughs> the clan that needed it the least, you gave it to Gear Chronicle. And then in the same booster, they released a G Guardian that makes you shuffle your deck. The biggest screw you to Sukiyomi. Yeah, literally. It's basically just like, you know how you were doing really bad? Well, let's just pile it on. And not so only does now... it shuffle your deck, but it also puts Silent, Silent Tom on the bottom of your deck. Yeah, and this is in the same... <sighs> this is around the same time, of course, that re they release Set 8 that has um, Revelation, which is Genesis' new thing, which relies entirely around knowing what's coming next. So then they literally, to gave G Genesis Report to update it, because I'm a big Genesis fan too... Genesis is, like, my number two clan, and literally within, like, the same month, I think it was, the same month or two months, they released... Oh, yeah, those were within the same month of each other. That was, that G Guardian also screws over Genesis Revelation, it was, like, the same time, but then Revelation I also have a massive issue with, because Revelation also should have been OTTs, because, like, they, I think they, like, screwed up OTT, and they're trying to, like, make Genesis the new OTT... 
Yeah, that's the sense I'm getting from Revelation. and Because Revelation absolutely should not have been Genesis's thing. Like, it's really good, but it totally should have gone to OTT. Like, and I'm actually having trouble with the Revelation deck because, like, I pick up an OTT deck, any OTT or Genesis deck pretty easily now because I've been playing them for so long. But, like, this deck feels weird because it should have been OTT, but it's still losing Genesis mechanics. And it's, like, just bizarre, and I can't stand it. And then all of us were holding out hope for the new support for o OTT. And the character booster and got nothing. Got nothing. Like, so like... maybe Battle Sister players. I mean, yeah, but, like, Battle Sisters, from what I've seen, hasn't been that good either. Because I don't play Battle Sisters. Like, I, um, it's, like, the one OTT thing I don't do, but... Like, from what I've seen, they haven't gotten great support either. Like, they've been okay. Their newest stride is okay, and that's about the best they can say. <laughs> What's their newest stride do? I don't remember specifics. I know it has, like, two skills, one of which gives their rear guards on hit skills, I think, to draw. I could be 100% wrong, but that's what I think it is. It'll be, like, in the triple rare section, or double rare at least. Look at the triples. I look at the grid. Yeah, uh, it's, except that was just doing newer art. Okay, that's only a double rare, but... Yeah, that's her. Yeah, okay. So she's, um, once per turn, turn a face down card, and if she's done, turn a face up. I was right. Yeah, kind yeah. of last one if your battle sister hits. If any battle sister hits, draw a card, and then generation break three, the cross, card. Uh, generation break three, Oracle, all your units with battle sister and the card name, your front will get a thousand power for each card in your hand. That's GB3. Yeah. That's a GB3 too. I mean, that's not bad, though, because Oracle... That means they at least have five cards, so that means all the front row units are getting 5,000 power. Which so. is okay. Okay, so here's my issue. That's like, that stride's okay. It's okay, but the problem is OTT doesn't need okay anymore. Yeah, they need OTT is awesome. not on a level where they need okay. <laughs> they need mind-blowingly amazing, and yet we've got jack shit. And here's... So, all of my... A lot of my grievances go back to the anime, which is that... So they introduced Susano for the anime... So I've heard that they release the skills beforehand, but I always find I always find out the skills of the anime. And That's how I can find that out, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. So we're watching the episode, and they're you know doing the dramatic. Well, they won't like, get into the U twenty thing, and they don't let first. He rides um, first grade four Susano first. So I'm hoping that they're going to do some sort of like Osher level thing. Where it's relying on having older copies of Susano face up. Right, which I'm like, all right, I can get behind this thing as there's so many Susanos now. And then they get to, he goes to try the second Susano. And as far as you can tell, all it is is draw to instant oracle, which is helpful, but not great. Like, all the support they're releasing for, for, OTT is, has been Oracle, so having an instant Oracle is it's good. But then the second half of the skill gets released, and it's entirely... Well, the thing was, is that people, like, before the official skill release, people were thought that it was 5k to the entire front row. Yeah. And that was what people had listed on the wiki, and that was, and that was, at least would have been decent? Better? better than what we got. Well, at least it would have put, it would have, again, pushed Island Tom above that. Yeah, it would have gotten him over one hurdle. But then the official skill came out and it was just <laughs> that, I think if you're at GB3 or something like that, he's, or just Oracle, I don't remember exactly what it is, but he gets plus 5k and a crit, and that is it. That's all he gets. So... He's gonna be at the very top. I cannot believe he's a GR. I'm sorry. I, nope, he's a GR. I assumed he was gonna be a triple rare. He's a nope. fucking G... Okay. Have fun with your GR. Yeah, no, so he's... he's oh, GB2, okay. Yeah, but he's... Okay, first of all, he's GB2. Um, both of the skills are GB2. So it's... Okay, so it's GB2, Counter Blast 2, Instant Oracle. And... And GB2, Oracle, 5k extra kit. Which, obviously, you're gonna be at Oracle because of that first skill. Right, so you're gonna but, be at Oracle, but it's GB2, Counter Blast 2, for the Instant Oracle. It's... It's... The, it's not worth it. No. Like, it's just, it's not... Unless they had to dump their hand in the previous turn, that's the only instance where that's worth it. And they literally have, like, one... Yeah, I mean, no cards in OTT's hand. not counterblast heavy in general, so you can take the counterblast too, but it's, it's just... Basically, every other clan has a lot more than us for a lot less than us. Like, Shadow Paladins don't even need to pay a cost to stride anymore, for fuck's sake. A lot sake. of clans are starting to not have to pay a cost for striding anymore. It's just... <laughs> and then... 
it has the same it has the same skill as Great Three Susano. Yeah. It is the same skill as the initial Great Three Susano. They reached the sure far recesses of OTT and went, let's give him the same skill. Pretty sure old Susano just needs to have four cards in his hand to get the plus five K to get. I don't remember because like, like <laughs> I said, I don't run Susano, but like uh, which is another issue entirely, which is that I don't okay, until they release a second Susano, there was no way to have a pure Susano deck. Like all of the, I'm sure there still is. I mean, yeah, there's really not. But <laughs> Even like, when okay, the nuke support comes I, out, I don't think there is. I didn't know a single person who had a pure Susano deck because it didn't exist. But then also, I don't like I said, I don't run Susano in any of my decks. I run um, pure witches, so Coco and Cuckoo, and then I have um, actually I run Uralis in Sugiyomi, uh because why not? Um, it's really old, but it lets me bind a card if I really want to. But also, at random, which is important. Yes, at random, and then. Um, quite frankly, after Virtuoso came out, my it, I was consistent enough that I didn't need Susano anymore because I don't like I don't like Susano. I have I have like moralistic issues with Susano and the fact that he basically pushed Sukiyomi off her pedestal, which should never have happened because she's Sukiyomi, and she invented the clan basically. And then well, technically Amaterasu you, did, but yeah. <laughs> shut up. You know what I mean. Um. <laughs> So, and then every single time they release for support for for OTT, they release support for Susano, and nobody plays Susano. <laughs> and like I don't, I can. Who would make a pure Susano deck right now anyway? It's still not good enough. No one. No one trying to be competitive. I mean, like even like I think the most competitive deck I think reality would probably be witches if you're running enough witches to make it worth it maybe and then not even i would still argue sukiyomi is the most competitive i mean good you should but <laughs> i just maybe about ba maybe battle sisters when they get the new support but yeah i just i ott is so bad right now but for them to release support at all and so actually, you know what would have made Susano oh no, the new Susano good is that that was his, the um the new Battle Sister skill was his skill where you your front row got a thousand power for each card in your hand. Yeah, that that would, would have been good. That would have been no, like in reality, what he should have gotten was some sort of GB two skill where he like because I know you're talking about the, none of the character boosts have had like persona flips. Yeah, and all of the the pattern so far with the character boosts is that none of the GRs have had any sort of flip. There's no persona flip, and they don't flip anything else. They're just you play it. You don't flip anything. All of them. All three from the character booster with the Tri-3 team, and so it looks like all three of them from this team, too. Which I, I get, but the problem is that if you're going to release a new Susano, you need to release a new Susano good enough to put OTT back on the map. And the thing is, that they, I don't know what happened, but along the way, they started giving crap that should have been OTTs to other clans. Like, I love my Genesis. Vanagran should have been an OTT. Yeah. Stride. That should have been have OTT Stride. Guard restrictions popping up everywhere now between Gear Chronicle getting them, Darker Regulars getting them. Um, and probably some other ones I can't think of out there. And that's I feel like what ODT needs is they need some way to give a massive power to their for, to their units, and they need some way to override G Guardians. Yeah, that's the big thing. Because, like, I I want you to be only able to PG or five K Silent Tom. That's what I want, and I want Silent Tom to like like I was talking about just the other day about how just having a nine K Silent Tom. At least. At least something. At least. Like, we we definitely need more than that, but at least a 9k Silent Tom at least puts him on par with everybody else. For God's sakes, Dark Irregulars has a 14k Silent Tom. Gears have an 11k grade 2 and a grade 1. They both do that too. <laughs> and yet we can't have a 9k. We, can't, we, we don't get any of it. And it's insane. And I just, like... And it's just very frustrating as an OTT player because I feel like they're not even just... Like, Grand Blue didn't get support for a long time, right? Yeah. But, they are at the bottom of the totem pole for la all of last right. year, pretty much. But, they like... Were, before Set 6 came out. At least they weren't releasing things that definitively screwed over Grand Blue. Like, yeah. OTT has had things that are deliberately screwing with their mechanics. Like, why would you ever release a Sand Trigger that should have been a Crit Trigger? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, why would you ever release a useful skill on a Sand Trigger for OTT? Because it goes against OTT's, like... That's something I did just think of, and as far as the retire goes, if it was a shuffle back into the deck, you've had a shuffle. What? So if that if the stand trigger said go back into the deck instead of retire, you have had to shuffle your deck. Put it at the bottom. 
That's OTT there. space. Yeah. But at the bottom, sure. you wouldn't have a shovel. I tried, just, you could I tried put it back in the deck. Yeah, no. <laughs> the reality is that there's, you should never ever be releasing anything that has that is useful that is not that's a sand trigger. Yeah, unless you're a clan that actually uses sand triggers. It's like which OTT is not. Yeah, it, no, <laughs> but it's like the same thing as releasing like a draw trigger for OTT. Like we don't we don't need it. We need you to give us crits that actually do things. Yeah. Like I. That balance is a crit that does something. I don't know what it is, but I know they have one. I just, I just, it's bullshit, basically. And then I, I cannot believe they released a, Susano, a new Susano, a new grade four Susano, and had him be completely and utterly useless, as far as I'm concerned. Like he does no, he nothing. He literally has the same effect as getting a trigger. Yeah. <laughs> He's a trigger, and that's it. <laughs> like, and a good like, a thing I had heard from somebody else that I thought was a good point to make was that Susano's only good in the sense that, like, he helps you survive for another turn. Because, like, say you did Fighting Gear Chronicle, they go through the whole next issue, and you have to dump your hand to survive, and now you have no cards. So you go into Susano, you draw your five cards, you triple drive, you're back up to eight. That's great, you're back up to eight cards in your hand, and you're surviving for another turn. But that's not what a finisher's supposed to do. Yeah, it's... Finisher's yeah. not supposed to let you survive for another turn. A su- finisher's supposed to actually finish the game yeah. for you, and he does not do that. And the thing is that if you're going to push Oracle, then you should have a card that says in- that has the Insta Oracle, which is fine. Yeah. My issue is that after the Insta Oracle, he does nothing. Nothing! And the issue with that is that, like we've said before several times in this video, is that OTT needs something better. Like, the only way OTT is going to survive as a clan is if you give it something that it actually puts it back on the map. Yeah. Like he was saying earlier, there is no competitive build for OTT. No. And we're the only clan that does that. There was Resistix, I think one of our friends posted on the our shop page of Resistix of who went to, what what tournament was it? Was it World? It or? was some like big tournament, some regional tournament. There was like what was it, 30-something percent was Gear Chronicle? Yeah, 30 percent, zero percent was OTT. No one went as OTT. Not the even for The only clan that was zero. Yeah, the only clan that was zero was OTT. Like, nobody even went for, like, you know, yeah. fuck it, let's just go and have have fun. Because you're, you're going to lose. Like, it's just... And the only explanation I can possibly think of, because Token Ramblu has support... And it's own and anime. Token Rambu had, I think it was 1 or 3% of people at that tournament were playing Token yeah, Rambu. No. Even they had someone show up. Yeah, and, Token and when I started playing Vanguard, he told me that Token Rambu wasn't even a real clan. Like, it was technically a clan. It's still not even really Yeah, a so clan. it's not even really, I, I guess, is it's not viewed as actually a clan, and yet OTT has less support than it does. And the only explanation I can think of is that whenever somebody in the anime needs to lose, OTT's, like, the scapegoat. Yeah. Back like, from the days with Misaki and now with the new character on Tokaha's yeah, team anime. Yeah, they got a new Play Battle Sisters, yeah. and it looks like so far she's going to be the one that has to lose in the well, yeah, dramatic because, game fashion. Because yeah, you know how it is. The first person wins, the second person loses, then there has to be the dramatic slowdown, showdown in the very in yeah. the third battle with whoever. Someone always has to lose on a team. Yeah, so, it, and then it's, it's I don't, it's always OTT. If is on a team, OTT loses. And maybe I'll be wrong, because we don't know yet, but I highly, I, I highly doubt they're going to let darker regulars lose, okay? It's not going to be a thing. Yeah. Like, especially because they just released uh, your fancy GR Scarheart for it. It's not... Yeah. And, like, yeah, the Misaki had that one victory against Asuka in the finals in the end of, like, the first season. And that was super that badass. Was, that was the whole reason I that played Tsukiyami. That was one of the best matches in the game, in the anime so far. But that I'm was sure. the only time she won, and that was But that was once. <laughs> and that was also, again, an anime thing where she had to have a personal... She was having a personal battle with... And she needed to overcome the bad woman yeah. in her personal cat fight. Like, and that was pretty much the only time they really let her, that and when she was, like, in the very, very beginning when they were showing what Tsukiyomi did, but other than that, Tsukiyomi, like, she never hit her uh, right yeah, chain. Yeah, between those two points, she, she never, lost every single game. Yeah, she never hit her right chain, like, ever, which, by the way, as somebody who plays uh, Tsukiyomi, does that happen? Like, even before I got Virtuoso, like, statistically, I hit my right chain far more consistently than Misaki does in the show. Yeah. So, I don't know, Are, did we miss anything? Bushy Road sucks. Yep. They're screwing over OTT at every turn. I'm really angry about it. Give me some... Give me something. Like, give me Settle something. <laughs> like, I just... And... <sighs> it's like it's about the Revival Collection that just dropped in English, and every single clan got at least two cards except OTT, which got one, and that was a sh- shitty Battle Sister Shred. And that was the only card OTT got in the Revival yeah, Collection. Yeah, and... Uh, Silent Tom is bizarrely still $10 because um, 
Which and it should it's have like been in the revival collection. Yeah. Like it would have been I a mean, perfect candidate yes, for yeah. the revival collection. Especially because, like I said, all you need to do is, is bump it up a thousand k, and at least it's like useful again. And but <sighs> fuck, like just I'm so done with Bushy Road, and I'm really sick of the fact that like I feel like OTT is being deliberately screwed over at every single turn, and it's all for the sake of the anime, which is why Gear Chronicle is the most overpowered clan in the game, and OTT sucks. Like, and the worst part is, is that when you started playing it, the game when I did, which was right before OTT drops, because it was right after, like, not right right after, but, like, you know, Strida just happened. It was around, like, when GB4 hit was when you started playing. Yeah. So I was still good, and then suddenly I wasn't. And I yeah, just, back then that was still, like, OTT was still up in the front, and you were about to get set 5, and set 5 hit, and you get that, but... Bushy Road sucks. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Bushy Road sucks. Give me something. Give me a new Moon Deity. First you of all. You see Shred. Oh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, do a, let's do an actual wish list for, for OTT. I want a new Tsukiyomi Stride. So you're gonna try that like breaks guardians or can't be G guarded. Yes, that's I need we need something that goes goes around G guardians. I need because like everybody's drawing cards now, so then I think we need to focus on the fact that like Yeah, that needs to stop being a focus. Yeah, drawing no. cards needs to you gotta yeah. get away from that. OTT, OTT <laughs> it's, it's not good enough anymore. It's not good enough, which means we need to be focusing on the fact that we can create to death and the fact that we initial like silent tom G guard restriction. So we need something that gets around G Guardians. Like I said, I want I want a silent tom that you can only PG or 5k it, and that's it. It's and something like what uh, Raven Hair Ezel has, where for the entire turn, your opponent can only use one type of grave to guard with. For see, the that entire would be the turn. best thing. Something like, I, we need something like that, and we need that stand trigger to be a crit trigger, if that would be, you know, not too much to ask, if you could actually release something that's useful to us in the mechanic that we use. That would yeah. be great. So... And each other, like, better, more, not just Silent Tom, give us, like, a, some more rear guards yeah, that are the, actually Yeah, good. that's the thing, is that the only, like, basically, uh, Shrewd is great because he gets, he's at least a 11 key dagger for Tsukiyomi. Yeah, and he has that on hit skill that you, like, check, talk to, put one in your hand for the one in the soul, if yeah, I'm correctly. Yeah, I think so. And, so we have him for Tsukiyomi, and then we have Silent Tom, and that is it. There is no, like... And, like, Battle Sisters are... They have, like, a 12k attacker. I think they're getting... I'm sure they're getting some stuff in the new things, but I don't remember... I looked at all of them, and I don't remember any of them standing out as, like, wow, yeah. that's actually really good. Like, OTT has always been Vanguard-centric, which is fine, except the fact that our Vanguard sucks right now. So we need... And we just... We just see what everybody else has, to be honest. Why don't you just get, stop giving things that should be OTTs and give them to OTT. And then actually actually stick to the, the clan mechanics. The clans exist for a reason. Like, stick to the clan mechanics. Like, I don't... I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for listening yeah, to my was... super angry rant. Because <laughs> I'm that one out. super pissed. <laughs> Alright.